uh, a very good morning to my dear students today we will have to discuss a very important chapter of civics class 10th last chapter of the book and the title of the chapter is outcomes of democracy this chapter is quite important and it has a unique position in the contemporary scenario because almost all the countries are heading towards democracy and even the countries who have monarchy and there is a system of there is a system which is not up to the mark and not up to democracy they are also adopting the democratic approaches and there is a people's protest for democracy so this chapter is quite important uh, in that context so uh, first of all we need to discuss the me literal meaning of the word outcomes the literal meaning of the word outcomes is results so in this chapter we are going to focus on the results of democracy so as you have read abraham lincoln's definition of democracy right from class 6 i think and till uh, till 10th so there is a tour of democracy right from the uh, middle wing to the senior wing that abraham lincoln said democracy is a form of government of the people by the people and for the people it means government is It, it means government is only based on the idea of people and the people's rule that why democracy is important because it gives the right to citizen it means that it is only based on the idea of people's rule after the abraham lincoln's definition we need to you know we need to eulogize or we need to understand the definition in our own context that democracy is a better form of government rather than its other alternatives like monarchy like dictatorship and like other regimes there's a topic that why democracy is important so before going to that uh, topic we need to understand more about democracy and the general meaning of democracy democracy proves to be better form of government than the others and there are several reasons for this because democracy provides equality among citizen it enhances the dignity of individual it improves the quality of decision making process and with the help of democracy conflict resolution also takes place so these are the certain kind of characteristics of democracy i understand and i also agree that there are certain flaws there are certain lacunas and shortcomings within the democratic system but democracy proves to be better than anybody and than any kind of regime so that is the actual meaning of democracy as you have also read in class 9 the first chapter what is democracy and why democracy there we you know there we acknowledge or accept certain kind of challenges within the democratic system with the help of zimbabwe with the help of the 1999 military rule in pakistan that how democracy was deconstructed but here we are going to focus the outcomes of democracy and we also need to discuss the contradictions within the democracy in hindi we say virodhabhas for the cont contradiction contradiction is something that on paper it is different but ground reality the condition is totally different this is known as contradiction contradiction and justification are the two important elements of this chapter because there are certain contradiction of the democratic uh, uh, ideas that it provides uh, equality it provide freedom to the people but there are certain incident happen where the scholars where some people some some writer claim that there is economic disparities in democracy because some scholars says that and in the book also it is written that the di dictatorships are doing good in context to economic growth and the development but democracy is unable to give a proper 
you know a kind of a economic growth which is happening in the dictate in the dictatorial regimes so it is a kind of contradiction that democracy provides and in uh, you know in the constitution it is written that the government will work for the economic empowerment of the marginalized section you know of the downtrodden section of the society and for everybody but what is the contradiction the contradiction is that on paper it is there but ground reality is something which is totally different but what will be the justification of it we cannot only judge and we cannot only analyze democracy only on one aspect and the aspect is economic aspect there are other aspects also which we need to acknowledge because in the other regimes like dictatorship like monarchy people don't have right to protest they can't chant on and raise a slogan against the ruler against the government but in democracy people are allowed they are being politically empowered to raise their issues to come to the street to use their fundamental rights like right to protest and shape their opinion against the government or they demand more accountability they demand more responsibility from the government that is the actual uniqueness of the democratic system i think uh, we have covered the general meaning of democracy and certain shortcomings within democracy but we are keep on saying that democracy is better than the 